Don't let your next drone flight end in failure. Follow these three keys to a successful drone flight and you'll be ready to shoot that next aerial video. Drones offer an accessible and affordable way to capture aerial video. With their compact size and lowering price tags, it's no wonder they're quickly becoming the go-to tools for videographers shooting aerial video. Mike here from VideoMaker. There are time codes below if you want to know what we're covering or want to jump to any place in the video. For a limited time, we're giving away our industry white paper on how to pass the FAA Part 107 test for drone pilots. If you ever plan on making money with your drone footage, by law you need to get certified and our report will help you pass the test easily. Sign up at videomaker.com drone or click on this card. The Federal Aviation Administration classifies drones as Unmanned Aircraft Vehicles, or UAVs. This means, as a drone pilot, whether you're licensed or not, you're responsible for knowing the FAA's rules of the sky. It's also your responsibility to know where it is and isn't safe to fly your drone. That puts a lot of responsibility on you, but don't worry. If you follow these best safety practices when flying your drone, you really won't run into any trouble. Most drones today feature obstacle avoidance sensors. These sensors can detect when the drone gets too close to a subject, allowing the drone to navigate around obstacles. Using drones with obstacle avoidance sensors, like the Skydio 2 Plus, are a must when it comes to safety. However, these sensors aren't miracle workers. Thin, hard-to-detect obstacles such as branches and power lines can sometimes be hard to spot. That's why you have to be aware of your environment at all times and be ready to manually step in if need be. Reflective surfaces like water can interfere with your drone's sensors and GPS, so be on the lookout for any bodies of water or reflective surfaces. Drones also have protective sensors that help you navigate around stationary objects, but they can't do so around objects in motion. Flying your drone close to moving objects like cars, bike riders, and birds should really be avoided. You can also avoid most obstacles by flying higher or using obstacle avoidance software. On the Skydio 2 Plus, you can adjust your minimum height floor to ensure your drone never drops below a certain height and stays well within the safe distance from other moving objects like people or vehicles. Most drones are optimized to be flown during the daytime for best visibility. Low light conditions make it difficult for you and your drone to see and navigate obstacles. That's why the best time to fly is during the day when there's plenty of light. Flying during the day also makes it easier to keep track of where your drone is in the sky. Flying over water can be more challenging than flying over land because if your drone crashes on land, it's much easier to retrieve than if it crashes in the water. Additionally, as we mentioned, water reflects everything, so it's hard to make out what's solid ground and what's not. So when flying over water, do so cautiously. A successful drone flight relies on your ability as a pilot to be alert and know where your drone is at all times. Several drones such as the Skydio 2 Plus have tracking software, where you can have the drone track a subject or a vehicle autonomously. It allows you to better focus on the surrounding environment and less on whether or not the subject is in frame. Also, built-in GPS systems can make a world of difference when keeping track of your drone. For example, Skydio 2 Plus's built-in GPS makes it easier to track where your drone is and where it's going. It connects with the Skydio beacon, extending your drone's range by up to 3 kilometers and tracking its position. When launching and landing your drone, it's best to have a flat surface as your planned landing area. Before you take off, it's best to pick out that flat open area. You can also use the Skydio carrying case to create a flat surface to launch from. Upon return, the Skydio 2 will recognize the Skydio logo on top of the case and lock onto it for easy and safe autonomous landing. This will be your takeoff and landing spot. That said, during the flight, always stay alert and be prepared for an emergency landing. When launching and landing, be sure you stand several feet away from your drone and wait until the propellers have stopped moving to approach the device. Operating your drone will be done through a dedicated remote control, a smartphone app, or a combination of both. This is where you'll adjust settings for your drone and your drone's camera and manage your settings and preferences. Through this device, you'll be able to access these functions.
As with any aircraft, emergency situations can occur. Most drones come with an emergency stop button. Like the brakes on a car, the emergency stop button essentially stops the drone from its current position and into a stationary hover position. Some drones' emergency stop button will stop their propellers from spinning altogether and end the flight. This is effectively crashing the drone, but it's a safety protocol to prevent damage to any people near the drone. Make sure your drone isn't above anything or anyone that'll be hurt or damaged by the crash landing when you use that emergency stop button. For a successful drone flight, it's important that you're aware of the safety of others. Though the technology is very sophisticated, drones still require you to be aware of your surroundings and the unique terrain drones might struggle with. Controlling your drone is made easy by taking advantage of the tracking software and dedicated tracking devices like the Skydio Beacon. You should always fly your drone at a safe altitude and never fly it near people or buildings. If you made it this far, consider subscribing and liking this video. In the next video, we'll cover how to make sure you follow drone laws. Thanks for watching.